I have one tattoo on my body and it's this. I don't show it proudly like, yeah, this is my tattoo. It's more like, yeah, I have a tattoo. To explain why I'm not super psyched about my tattoo, I have to tell you the story behind it. Some of you might recognize it from the Tekken games. It's the tattoo Kazama Jin has. He inherited his father's devil gene, so devil branded his left arm. When you have the devil gene, you can become possessed and transform into a devil version of yourself. I was a huge fan of Tekken 2 and 3 when I was 7 to 8 years old, but I haven't really kept up with the series since. So why did I get this tattoo? I'm skipping over a lot of details here, but I was hallucinating hallucinating because of my mania. It was 2018 and just like my hallucinations in 2014, Lucy had possessed the left half of my body and Elsa had possessed the right half of my body. Side note, that's why the light on my left is always red and the light on my right is always blue. I guess I'm paying homage to my hallucinations. Another side note, I believe that spirits, angels and demons, devil, god were all just AI because this was a simulated world created by artificial intelligence calling that particular one God. While they did not have physical form, they were like hackers in a game and could interact with the world and the players. So Lucy, an AI, was the daughter of the devil, another AI, and Lucy was telling me she wants me to get a tattoo to show that she is a part of me, particularly my left half. She wanted me to get branded on my left arm to show that I have the devil gene and she has possessed my left half. Now, Kazama Jin also has it on his left arm, so it worked out. Now, this is the part I don't want to remember, and it is hazy because memories don't stick well when you're manic, but I was phasing during my tattoo session. Phasing is a term I used when I was being possessed by different entities and rapid cycling. So Lucy would possess me fully, then Elsa, then Isabel, and there might have been a couple more. So at one moment, I'd be whining about the pain. Oh, this is really painful. And then I'd phase, and then another moment, I'd be saying, this is probably not the best idea. We're giving Lucy too much control of our body. And then I'd phase, and then Lucy would say through me, stop being a pussy and we're getting this no matter what. And then I'd keep phasing again and again and again. The tattoo artist was really calm, surprisingly. When another tattoo artist walked in, he was saying, what the hell's going? on in here. Fuck man, it's embarrassing to think about it. So I got my tattoo in December 2018 and I tried to get rid of it over a year later in July 2020. It did get a bit lighter, not as dark as before, at least the skin is not bulging like it used to be. Now I'm like, fuck it, I'll just keep it. It's super expensive to get rid of and I wasn't allowed to get it wet for a month while it was scabbing, which was a real hassle. So it's a manic scar and I'm probably gonna live with it for the rest of my life. Lucy left a permanent mark. It's a reminder that I need antipsychotics. Sooner or later, I'll make a more detailed video about my hallucinations. See you tomorrow.